Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Master Luke here and welcome to my brand new let's play of the Octo Expansion DLC for Splatoon 2. Um, now this is something we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a release date for forever. And it just so happens that last night they dropped the bombshell announcement that it releases in one day. So here we are. Uh, we're ready to play. It's going to be 100% run. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's get right to it. Alright, so you start off by going down this alleyway. It says, listen closely. Would you like to enter a story that echoes up from deep underground? Yes, we would. Let's get to it. Octo Expansion! Pale summer moonlight shimmers on the seafloor. An octopus, unaware that dawn will bring capture, rests within a trap, dreaming fleeting dreams. That's kind of mysterious. Ahoy, Octoling! Up and at him, you lazy wiffle waffle! Hey, it's Captain Cuttlefish. This fight ain't over. Prepare for a royal whooping! But there's no honor in defeating an unarmed opponent, and you seem to have lost your weapon somewhere around here. And just where is here, anyway? Last thing I remember, you were battling my protege, Agent 3, in Octo Valley, when both of you were suddenly attacked by someone. And somehow, we got marooned here. So, uh, how do we find a temporary truce while we find a way to escape? But where are my manners? I haven't even told you my name. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, leader of the legendary new Squidbeak Splatoon. And you are... Uh, Psst, this is the part where you tell me your name. By Kraken, you lost your memory when you hit the ground. You can't remember anything about yourself? Anything at all? Oh, who am I? Oh, boy or girl? Actually, you know what? We're actually going to go with the girl this time. Um, just because that's the one you see in all the trailers. Um, I want to say her... It wasn't the... It was, like, this one, I think. Um, yeah, it was this hair. We're going to make it just like in all the trailers. And I want to say her eyes were orange. Yes. Yes, this is definitely the one from the trailers. Is this me? Heck yeah, that's me. Most interesting. I noticed you were hunting the calamari... Humming the calamari incantation right before you came, too. Could it be? Has this heavenly melody been etched into your very soul? I take your stunned silence as a yes. I've heard tell of Octarians whose souls were etched by those squid-tastic grooves. But that was a couple years back during Agent 3's battle with DJ Octavio. Still, I can't shake the feeling that this is related somehow. In any case, sorry for slicing Agent 3 on... Or, uh, sicking Agent 3 on you back there. Any fan of the Squid Sisters is a friend of mine. I mean, that with all of my hearts. Now dust yourself off and find your land legs. We need to get moving. Let's find a way out of here. Okay, so like the Squid Sisters like song can actually like convert octolings to being good. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see, is there any anything over here? Is this just kind of like where we start? This is kind of creepy. Like, I really like the creepy atmosphere of this underground subway. Hello, anybody home? Not in there. Alright, let's see. Oh. Alright. Alright, let's just make it inside the subway train, I guess. Oh, it looks like somebody's been here since we've already got some, uh, pink ink. Alright. What lies ahead? Okay. What in the devil fish is this place? Proceed with caution. Oh no. Somebody's gonna jump out at us? Hey, that's an Octarian vault. You need a key to open it. 
Oh, we need one of those crab keys. Being a Noctarian at all, you should... You sure this place doesn't look familiar? Oh, okay. So you just kind of stand on that, and those activates this rail. Whoa. Okay, Splattershot Jr. and Splat Bombs. Oh, and now we have a weapon. Okay. Booyah, that contraption back there gave you a weapon. Doesn't seem like any other Octarians are here. This place might be abandoned. Find that key. Okay. Alright, so I guess this is like a little tutorial area or something. But we already know how to play Splatoon, don't we? Oh my goodness, that sure takes a lot of hits. Alright, let's see. Oh, a grap link. That's nice. Oh, wait. Does this have the key? Yep, there it is. Okay, you found the key. Now let's head back to the vault. Yeah, so this is kind of teaching you about all the different stuff that you can use. Okay. But we've already played the main story mode. Which is something else I wonder. I wonder, like, obviously we've beaten the story mode by now. But I wonder if you haven't beaten the story mode already. If, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, but it takes your items away. That contraption stole your weapon back. But you hooey, if you ask me. Um, I wonder if you have to complete the main single player before you can do the Octo Expansion DLC. Alright. Well, we're weaponless again, but at least we can, uh, make it a little farther. This looks a little sketchy, but you're gonna have to check it out. Well, we found a way out. Sort of. Uh. Oh, it's like one of those old timey telephones. Is there anybody else in here? Is this abandoned too? All right, answer the phone. Searching for user ID, user 10,008 confirmed. Greetings, 10,008. Your current location is Deep Sea Metro Central Station. My primary function is to facilitate your journey to the Promised Land. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Assessing communication efficiency. Efficiency 12.42% enabling contemporary speech mode. What is crack and home skillet let us bounce to the Promised Land for show? Sure. I'm about... What the heck? I'm about, about it, so listen while I... Slang not found. You woo the facts. You have spent your entire life in the dark, your eyes always closed to the new hotness that awaits. The promised land, a utopia of light beyond your wildest dreams. It is all that and a bag of cool beans. I will take you to the promised land now. Not. Ha, <laughs> psych out. Only cats who have proven themselves can air the promised land. Do you dig, dog? There have been 10,007 applicants so far, which makes you applicant 10,008. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Good luck and slang not found. This is Deep Sea Metro Central Station, the Radio Delio Central Hub of the facility. Here is your CQ80 and CQ card. They are so bad. <laughs> okay, so he spits out a little, a little ID card. Guard them with your light, lizzle liz slow, whatever that is, because if you lose them, you will be error. Now come ride the train, Audi 5000. Applicant 10,008, eh? That's a beakful. I think I'll just call you Agent 8. This promised land must be the surface. I wonder how deep underground we are. There's no time to waste. Come on, Agent 8. Grab those new dealy doos and get moving. Alright. And it gave us what, like a cell phone? Whatever that other thing is. Oh, here comes the subway train. So I guess this place isn't abandoned after all. They got some folks down here. Still doesn't mean it's not super sketchy. Alright, Captain. Let's get in the train. Okay. 
I'm pooped, Agent 8. Gonna rest my cuddle bones here for a bit. Nope. Oh, hey, look at this. We got a sea slug. Oh, sea cucumber. Thank you for using Deep Sea Metro today. I am your humble conductor, sea cucumber. You gotta be squitting me. A talking sea slug? Pardon me? I take it this is your first time riding with us. Here's the deal. We're in a vast underground facility operated by the Cambo Corporation. It's a series of test chambers connected by the Deep Sea Metro subway system. I see that you're in possession of a CQ-80 device. I take it your aim is to reach the Plumber's Land? That's right, we want out of here. Understood. The Promised Land is a paradise to which we denizens of the depths are forbidden entry. To reach it, you must pass a test at each Deep Sea Metro station. You must also find and collect the four thangs. With all four thangs have been gathered, the door to the Promised Land shall open. So all we gotta do is pass some tests and find some thangs, and we can go home? I believe so. Let me show you your first test. Press X to activate your CQ-80. Okay. Ooh, what in the blazes? Technology these days. This is the Deep Sea Metro map. Go ahead and select a destination. Um, okay, fake plastic station. Very good. Now departing for the first test. Okay, so the subway system is like what connects all the levels. So, that's kind of cool. I do like the sea cucumber too. He's kind of cute. And it also makes sense, like, why you don't see, like, any of these other characters, because they live at the bottom of the ocean. Um, at each station, the available weapons will be displayed atop the equipper. CQ points are required to take each test. We'll grant you 1,000 to start with. The test fee indicates the number of CQ points needed to take the test. The reward for how many CQ points you will earn for passing the test. Now go ahead and press A to select a weapon. Alright, so the test fee is 100, but you get 600, and we got 1,000, so let's do it. Okay. This area we're now is called the station platform. You can find me here at each stop. If you'd like more info about a certain test, come and talk to me. I'm always happy to help. Okay, so you can't get back on the subway train, so we're kind of... Alright. What does he have to say? To pass the test, you must shoot and then touch the goal. The visibility is quite poor, so be careful. Good luck. Take care out there. Once again, to pass... Oh, okay. Maybe I... Oh, I'm hitting him again. That's what's going on. All right. This is the turnstile. Press A to pay the test fee and begin the test. If you don't have enough CQ points to take a test, you'll have to come back to it. All right. Let's do this thing. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, yep. Yeah, we're in here now. Ooh, this is kind of... I like this. Trees. Man, this subway is weird. Oh, target acquired. Octolings are your friends, right? Maybe try talking to them. Destroy. Not the ones with the red eyes. Where you at? Got him. Okay. You might want to talk a little bit louder. Yeah, I don't know that they're going to listen. That gate is open. I guess talking to them was, was a good idea after all. Alright, okay, so I like how these levels are set up a little bit different than the main story mode. Oh, more trouble. Double trouble. Alright. Oh, they got a umbrella. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Go, 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 go. Alright, we got one. We have splat bombs. I forgot about that. Got him. Okay. Uh, seems like they're friendly to you, but they're attacking. Well, whatever. Alright, let's see. Oh, the arrow's pointing this way. I'm wondering if I'm going to miss something like the uh, sunken scrolls or the, the sardinium, like in the main mode. I wonder if this has something like that. 
All right, I'm just going to ink the ground here because I'm if I need to make a fast getaway. Oh, and I have a splashdown. Oh, seek and destroy. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Dang. Okay. Okay. These octolings are good. Oh, how many ink jets do they have? Oh, they probably got unlimited. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. This isn't. I'm going to die here. I'm going to die in the jungle. And this is only level one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They weren't lying when they said they amped up the difficulty. All right, let's try this again. Oh, my goodness. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and there goes the second one. Crap. Okay, we got one more life to do this. Can I climb this tower? If I can climb this tower, I'm just going up right up top. Oh, no, 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 no. Hide behind the tree. Wait for them to run out. Oh. Oh, this is way down there. Oh, my goodness. And that was the third life. We got a pest. But since this is your first test, I guess you can let this one slide. Okay, I see what's going on. All right. Well, at least since this is the tutorial, they're still going to give us a chance. Holy crap. These octolings are good. Oh, there we go. Okay, we finally got him. Whoo, you made it through somehow. Exactly. I don't know. I had to lose three lives to do it. All right. What is this thing? Octarians hunting Octarians. What does the world come to? Oh, okay. Like a, a spike. Looks like the real thing. Fake plastic station. Okay. Well, that was cool. All right, congratulations. You passed your first test. By the way, you've received this memento. When you finished, it's called a mem cake. Mem cakes are formed by compressing memories into physical form. They'll be awarded to you by Cambo Core. To commemorate each test you pass, use L and R in your CQ80 menu to check your collection of mem cakes. Okay. New stations are now available for you to visit and test your skills within. You can move freely to any station marked with a orange dot. Safe travels. Huh? Is this thing working? Oh, I hear something. Come in, Agent 3. Agent 3, do you copy? Mic check, 1, 2. Who the heck are you? Excuse me? Pearl, didn't anyone teach you to respect your elders? Huh? Who am I speaking to? Where's Agent 3? State your names. Um, I think I asked you first, dude. Anyways, I'm Pearl, but you can call me MC Princess. My deets, I'm short and sweet. I spit that fire, make post posers perspire. Step to my game, I'll bring the pain. I'm never shook because I'm off the hook. Oh, check it, kid. Are you stepping me to me with a rap battle? MC Craig in the house. Call me Captain Cuttlefish, but not because I cuddle fish. Smooth like, but wait, whoa, hold up. It cut me out. Okay, you two, that's enough. Mr. Cuttlefish, was it? We found a radio here and heard your transmission. We're currently on Mount Nantai. Where are you calling from? Mount Nantai? Why, that's near Octo Valley. Agent 8. And I were near there, but someone seems to have taken us deep underground. I see. So you and this Agent 8 know where you are. Sorry to hear about that. But not worry. But worry not. From now on, you'll have me, Marina, a.k.a. DJ Hyperfresh, supporting you. I'll get you to work analyzing your surroundings, and hopefully I'll be of some help to you. I don't really get what's going on, but hang tight. We got you. 
Okay, well, anyone who loves rapping is a friend of mine. Thanks for your help. We're off to pass some sort of test and make it our way to the promised land. And by we, I mean you, Agent 8. Time to get after it. Okay. Uh, let's uh, look at our CQ since we haven't really gotten a good chance to look at this. Alright, so we got the Deep Sea Metro map. Mem cakes. Yeah, I want to take a look at this. Uh, you paint the turf with graceful strokes. With watchful eye, I breathe a sigh from sniper's perch. I go for broke. Okay. That was a weird. It, look, it looks like a, like one of those little erasers I used to get in the book fair when I was a kid. Um, let's see here. Settings. Okay, so we can change the hair color and stuff. Um, all right, and then we can just go to the next one. Uh, Imagine Inkopolis. Wonder what that does. Or maybe that just takes us back out. Oh, okay, that takes us back to the menu. Anyway, so I guess we'll end the first episode here. So, um, and of course, the multiplayer maps and modes have been updated too. Um, so thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this very first episode. Um, if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave your comments down below. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.